sudden death in young men and women who started or who are exercising we have seen some of these videos that are circulating on the internet and some in the news that young you know in their 20s 30s and 40s people in their uh, early part of their life this they were exercising and suddenly you see them drop dead either celebrities or common even if it happens to celebrities then uh, it becomes a big news so everybody knows about it but if it doesn't uh, if if the person is not a celebrity they silently die nobody knows except their family and the near and dear or if somebody takes a video and it circulates becomes viral then you get to know but you see this phenomenon where young people who are vigorously exercising they don't know that they are vigorously exercising because they feel that they are invincible they feel that they can lift anything they can um uh, you know exercise any amount and suddenly they pass out and they die they lose consciousness and they die why does this happen this is today's topic now it all has to uh, deal with your heart right most of the time you know sometimes you have undiagnosed aneurysms that can rupture um and so on but most come or you may have a seizure and in the uh, during a seizure you may have a fatal heart rhythm and you can suddenly die but most commonly it has to deal with your coronary arteries now let me explain it this way your heart muscle heart is a muscle you know like any other muscle but it is called a smooth muscle because it is not under your voluntary con- see i can this my hand muscles i can Uh, voluntarily control right but my heart muscle just like your gastrointestinal tract has smooth muscle in it you cannot control your heart muscle it is under involuntary control between sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems they act together and control your heart now for the, your heart muscle to pump it needs blood supply just like your brain or your eye or your liver or kidneys need blood supply to provide the necessary fuels necessary oxygen and everything your heart muscle also needs blood supply and your heart muscle pumps blood out of you know uh, and provide circulation so it is like a junction box here where blood circulates comes to your heart and your heart pumps and the blood goes out so your heart muscle pumps blood and it also needs blood for it to function so this blood supply to the heart happens through specialized blood vessels called coronary arteries these coronary arteries if there is any blockage in the coronary arteries your heart muscle suffers and now in young people even in young people there there uh, is usually about 10 to 20 sometimes 30% of the blockage called plaques cholesterol plaque or plaque here in us we call it plaque uh, rest of the world we call it plaque cholesterol plaques or plaques or cholesterol depositions within inside the blood vessels and this starts this deposition of this cholesterol with inside the blood vessels happens in starting from your sometimes in your late teens into early 20s and then continues throughout the rest of your life now as the blockage gets worse in other words as the blood vessel you know imagine this is your coronary artery and it starts getting inside of the blood vessel starts getting deposits of cholesterol and plaque and it becomes narrower and narrower and when this happens your heart develops what is called collateral circulation collateral circulations are tiny tiny blood vessels that are newly formed and supply the heart depending on its demand this collateral circulation even though you have blockages collateral circulation helps your heart to function now when you are young let us say you have 20 or 30% uh, blockage because of cholesterol plaque and you suddenly start exercising which your body is not accustomed to unaccustomed exercise 
your your body's your heart needs demands go up because it has to pump faster your heart rate heart rate oxygen demands of the body goes up when you uh, exercise and heart has to function or pump faster for it for it to function faster it also needs blood supply but because of the blockages it it its demand exceeds its supply you know there is a higher demand for the heart to function but it is not getting enough blood supply for it to function at this higher level right and because you are so young there is no collateral circulation that has already developed in you because collateral circulation takes years to form so suddenly the demand goes up the plague is not is preventing the circulation the the plague is preventing the heart from getting hyper or higher blood supply and sometimes when ha- what happens is this plague the inside the cholesterol deposition plague ruptures when this plague ruptures what was around the blood supply suddenly blocks it the plague that cholesterol deposition ruptures and suddenly it blocks the blood supply to the heart and it's like having a stroke in the heart where there is immediate cessation of blood supply and the heart muscle suddenly suffers an ischemia what is called ischemia lack and infarction which is lack of blood supply and death of the heart muscles immediately happens when this happens your heart goes into abnormal rhythm instead of doing this uh of your upper and lower part of the heart your heart starts doing this you know because there is lack of blood supply called fibrillation or tachycardia uh, some t- uh, or sometimes it can go into what's called asystole where there is complete cessation of the uh pumping function of the heart or the heart beat and suddenly there is no blood supply and the person immediately dies um loses heart beat and then the blood supply to the brain is cut off and then the person passes out and unless you do cpr at that point there is no chance of recovery so in other words if a young person who is not accustomed to exercise his heart is not tuned to exercise because it has not developed collateral circulation gets a plaque rupture and suddenly blocks off the blood supply the person immediately dies and that is why we see young people who are even elder people who are not uh, whose heart is not trained to do uh, higher levels of exercise might suffer this kind of problem so it's important for young people to have a graduated exercise program and that too under some kind of supervision who knows the science behind it so young men and women make sure that when you exercise you are uh, you you understand what you are doing you have some kind of expert uh, supervision either a doctor or sports uh, professional supervision when you are doing it so that you don't get into trouble and uh, that is why we see young uh, you know older men and women who are uh, who are overweight or sometimes obese they just carry on with their lives even though they have blockages some 30 40 50 60 uh, percent blockages because their heart has developed collateral circulation and it is just helping them function but if they start exercising suddenly then they might get into trouble so in other words they have failed their stress test exercise treadmill test and then suddenly they can you know, their heart goes into huge trouble and start fibrillating and then uh, suddenly may die so make sure that you don't do unaccustomed exercise and get into trouble so until we meet next time stay healthy and stay 